stuff. All right, so you mean I've been sitting here talking to myself all morning and no one has heard a single thing I said. Good morning, Frostbite. Can you hear me now? <laughs> hey, Drunken. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn my mic on in Streamlabs because I have a habit that when I sit here and I do recordings of another game that I might be playing, I turn the microphone off because I like to add my own audio at the end. So I've been sitting here talking for the last, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> Explaining to everybody what's going on and you guys haven't heard a single word I said. All right, well, let me fill you in again. I've already messed up my base and I haven't even been here but 10 minutes. I emptied my garden, okay? And then I wanted that I was I had wheat in here, so I was making wheat. So I emptied all the wheat, and then I came over here and I thought, okay, I'm going to empty the garden now and change the wheat over to something else. And you know, when you're supposed to do that, you're supposed to walk up and say X to remove the plant. Well, I held X down too long and ended up picking up my plant box. So <laughs> I don't remember how to do it other than picking up the floor and picking up the bottom floor and connecting the water tool you know to this spot here but for sake of not messing it up even more and the fact that i have a full freezer here and we have tons of food out in these freezers i figured i would just let well enough alone so what i did was i went into the um animal pen filled their water and tried to get to their their food bowls, but they're all conglomerated around it, and their food bowl seems to be full anyway. So there's really nothing that I have to do there. Campus seems to be running a little late. It has been months since we did a live stream. In fact, I think December of last year was the last time I did a live stream, but that is because we're still renovating our house. I mean, my husband's making a, a slow go of it. It is getting done. But mostly all I have to do is paint. Unfortunately, I can't live stream because he's running, uh, you know, electrical tools. He's running, you know, vacuum cleaners and all that other stuff. So it would just make too much noise in order to do a live stream. But because the work is slowly getting done and we only have two more rooms to go, I'm getting back in the swing of things. So I'm so glad that you guys came here and, you know, supported me. But, uh, yeah. So now you can all call me a dunce and, you know. Maybe it's a girl thing. I don't know. So what have you guys been up to? All good. Well, I'm going to... I didn't even get beehives. So I know there's beehives in the game now. I know there's batteries uh, in the game. There's purification for water now. Um, what else is new? There's a new backpack. I mean, it has been months. I haven't been in Icarus since... Before Enshrouded, when Enshrouded came out, I played Enshrouded, and after Enshrouded, I played Nightingale, and I've left Icarus by the wayside, but they're getting their gear in, you know, in order, and they're getting new content coming soon, so I got to get back in here, and I got to get this space updated. Uh, I don't even know if I can hit tall side of a barn anymore. It's been a while since I've been in here. My blonde was showing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't even have blonde hair. Yeah, I don't know. I used to love this game, but, you know, in Shroud, it was a nice change. And then Nightingale, I mean, I just I started my second character, believe it or not, Nightingale, just so I could record it for the channel. I like the game so much. So have you played Icarus since the new stuff came out, uh, Chris? Have you? Uh, yes? No? Because I wouldn't know the first place to start. I'm going to go find a cave right now and see what the bees are all about. And as you can see, the last time I was in the game, I was still growing uh, the exotic plants. And I checked my um, canisters upstairs. It's like over... 1,100 exotics I still have to send up to orbit. Oh, 
Oh, the Hallowed Halls. I didn't even get to play it yet. So what do you think about the new content? Did you only visit that first one or did you go in several others? Oh, do they get harder as you go along? Like, I suspect they will. Uh, I have to get back into it then. Um, I don't know, maybe time, maybe next time you get in there and you play, I can, I can join you for a live stream or something. I don't know the first clue about what to do. Oh God! So yeah, that, so that that stands to reason then that um, the higher up you go, like when you get into the Rebel Woods and stuff like that, those are going to be even harder still, which is probably why they told you to take friends along. Problem is with my Enshrouded game, I played solo, so um, I'll have to buddy up with someone. Oh, everything at level 15. Well, you didn't seem to have a problem through the first one. How, how did you fare through the second one? Oh, mm. Hey, where'd you come... Who was that? Ah. Meanie. Yeah, the the game the game developers themselves said uh, it's probably best to take along a couple friends. Oh, look at that. My first cave and already there's an exotic sitting over there. Do I have my miasma pickaxe? I do. Came in here to look at bees and I'm already collecting exotics. You get many more exotics this way if you use a miasmic pickaxe. You get, um, you know, the usual 14 or whatever, but you also get the noxious crust, which 14 times 5 is going to give me 70 more exotics, and that's a lot more than just the 15 or... 32 or whatever you'd get normally. I don't see any bees. I don't hear any going bzzz. I thought you were supposed to be able to see the bees flying around. I see nothing. You may need a different cave. I got to watch with the noxious crust, though, now that I'm carrying that. Look at my stamina bar. <laughs> Just <laughs> see my stamina bar. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bear. Come on, shoot him. Uh oh. Oh, he died. Oh, so did you get the new survivor? Did you pick him up yet? Solid enemy density into the halls. Oh my God. So would you, did you get the new survivor in the very first one or did you get him in the second one? Oh, I'm a battle mage um, wizard combo. <clears throat> Why are you stealth, girl? Where's all the biz biz? I 
feel cheated. Oh, go away. Yeah, of course you got a shot in. Where's all the bees? Oh, wow. Did it take longer to the end? Of you so oh. I would have kind of thought they would have, like, waited till maybe the second or the third one, not give it to you in the first one. I mean, he must play an important part then in going to the other halls. Yes, I don't know. How does that work? There's no buzz buzz, no buzz buzz. I ain't got no bees. Gotta watch my health, though, carrying this noxious crust. Oh, oh, so you have to, you have to get him in order to be able to do the next ones. And all of a sudden, do I have lag? I never have lag in this game. Ah, uh, I miss the glider in Nightingale. <laughs> I missed the glider from it shrouded. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. I don't know if you did already because I would have to reload my screen to see it, but just a reminder. Gosh. If you're not going to give me buzz buzz, then at least give me some more exotics. I love me exotics. I know I should be picking up my arrows again, but I just don't care. I have so many of them, it's not even funny. Am I missing something? I mean, am I supposed to, like, hit a bee's nest and then they come out buzzing? I thought when I first played it, when the bees first came out, I couldn't even get the the honey because they kept knocking me off my uh, angled roofs. I couldn't even stay up long enough to, to hit the nest. And now I don't see any bees at all. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, just got a Discord message. I wonder if it's... Oh, it's probably Kent saying he overslept. It's okay. I was afraid I was going to overslept, so I actually set my phone alarm last night. Got up at 7 o'clock this morning, though, because I couldn't sleep. I was so excited I was going to be live streaming again. After the house is fully renovated, I'll have to show you before and after pictures. I mean, <laughs> my husband's like, you want to sell? I said, hell no. If you'd asked me last year, I would have said, yeah, let's sell. But now that it's being fixed up, no, I don't want to sell. Crazy. Although I think I got more paint on the floor and my pants than I did on the walls. <laughs> I'm disgusted. There's no bees. Oh, hey, where's the rest of the thing going up? Well, that's not cool. I can't get up there because I'm not carrying any angled root. Oh, yes, I am. What the hell am I talking about? Go, let's, let's fix this because I'm not sure-footed enough to not fall. Ah, I don't remember. Game. 
Uh, okay, no steps. Regular roof, maybe this one. Okay. All right. Let me up here. I think I'm heading in the right direction, isn't there? Always lick the light. I like that saying. <laughs> Why is the survivor necessary to go to the next one? Does he like give you the next location maybe is that what it is unfortunately after dinner last night i passed out on the chair and i didn't get to watch the rest of your stream and i promised i would um this water is not purified this is the same water i had before so i hope this isn't going to make me sick why does it say i need to eat when i have four in my stomach all right well I know. Oh, that was dumb. One, two, three, four, five. Have you been in here and looked for bees? Because I don't understand why I'm in my third or fourth cave and didn't see a single bee buzzing around. I need to make my beehives. I can't make them without, you have to have the wax and stuff, right? I think. Like, uh. Flow meter? What the heck is that? Oh, God. Oh, we have 792 points available. I don't know if I can spare any. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have to buy that buy that advanced battery pack I'm assuming is anything else we need to click here what else titanium tower shield nah I don't see any reason to use shields in this game what else Water borer. Huh? Okay, so now we have to drill for water. Electric water purifier. What the heck? Anything in tier three that we need? Biofuel water pump. Well, I suppose that's necessary, too, at some point. Water barrel, okay. Metal rain reservoir, oh my god. Water purifier. This is just, this is just too much to handle. Hello? Hello. Did you fall asleep and forget to get up? <laughs> I don't know what's happened, because it's only 25 past 2. What? Yeah. Oh, we moved our clocks an hour ahead. Uh, right. That's what it is. That's, yeah, right. Okay. But luckily, I had a reminder set for quarter past two. Oh, and, well. And I got your message, and I sent your message back. And I, and then I was quickly loading up the computer, and then I realized, oh, crap, she's already online. Well, that's... <laughs> Yeah, I, well, don't feel bad. Um, I, I totally forgot to tell you that, you know, United States turned their clocks back, I don't know, a couple well, weeks ago. But I started the stream, and I'm talking on the stream for 10 minutes, and nobody can hear me. <laughs> right? Because, you know, when I record offline, I turn the mic off because I don't want the dogs in the background to be howling and, you know. Um, so I turn my mic off. So I did not turn my mic back on in Streamlabs. So I'm sitting here, and it wasn't until I looked over to my left and seen that Frostbite and Drunken were in here. And they're like, you know, we hear game sounds. We just don't hear your audio. I'm like, oh, 
And, you know, I came here early purposely to set up and get everything perfect, and I screwed it up anyway. So I really haven't, oh, and then I went in the game, and I emptied the wheat from the garden, and then I thought, well, I want to put something in there besides wheat, so I'm going to take the wheat out of the plant pot, and I held X down too long, and guess what I did? You picked up the plant pot. I picked up the plant pot. So... <laughs> Because I haven't been in the game and I, I know I can do it if I took my time to, to think it through, but I'm not, yeah. you know, I just, I put it in the basic poop box and figure, you know, you'd be much quicker at it than me if that's what you want to do. Well, but, it's because your muscle memory just remembers these things and you do it and then you're like, oh, actually, no, that's changed. I can't do that. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I've been doing after that is really not much. I've been going into caves looking for freaking, um... Bees, and I haven't found a single buzz buzz in here. I don't, what the heck's going on? I thought they were supposed to be in almost every cave. I think there... I don't know how many caves they're in, but I know that you can find them out and about in the world as well. Yeah, but I would have I would have thought that if you're going to put bees in a cave... I came into Icarus when the bees first came out, but the bees kept knocking me off my angled roofs, and I got disgusted. And I'm like, well, how in the heck am I supposed to get a beehive? I can't even, you know, get close to the hive because the bees were swarming so bad they would knock you off. Well, apparently they changed that now. They fixed it. And now that they fixed it, I have no bees in my cave, and I this is my fourth cave I'm in now. I haven't seen a single bee's nest yet. And they're usually buzzing around, which tells you where they are. They don't start attacking you until you get close to the nest, so. Mm, yeah. I'm just gathering, I'm just gathering platinum and titanium in the in the lava cave because I didn't know what else to do <laughs> until you got uh, here. Yep. Oh, I, I can't remember what the pest did. Yes, you do. Let me think. Oh, hang on. Is it, it's got capitals, hasn't it? No. Well, it, the, you know, there's it's two words pushed together. And, I yeah. mean, you can use capitals for those two words, but... You didn't for the password. Let's try it without. I think I remember it. No, that's not it. I, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. You do know what it is. Just look below where it's you're... Gotta, yeah, i got to just remember. Ah, oh, I can't remember how I got back out of this cave. Oh, I'm just... Uh, what happened to my? I had stuff in here. I I I don't think they would have broke down. I did have stuff in here, but it's not here now. Get back up here, unless I'm trying to go up at the wrong. Sp Am I trying to go up to the wrong spot? Yeah, I was trying to use the old password. Mm. That's the problem. That's all right. I'm totally confused. I come in this cave. I don't know how many times we've been. <gasps> we've been in and out. <gasps> no. <gasps> I just burned my ass. <gasps> it's Actually, just... I think. I think I brought the wrong characters. <laughs> I can't do it. Look. So it is. It, it is. All you have to do is just look below where you're sitting and chat right now, and you'll figure it out. Yeah, I've got the password. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just realized I think I'm bringing in the wrong character. So. <laughs> well. Just to see. Because I'm pretty sure I left a character down there. Okay, I don't want to go up here. Now, I am totally lost in this. No, I, I think I know. It has been such a long time since I've been in this game. I have n no idea anymore what is what. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it, there's a lot of things have changed. Um, I mean, now you've got to purify your water. Like, come on, give us a break. Well, they still didn't fix the part here where the where the uh, worms are stuck in the wall. They're hitting me, but you can't see the worms. Uh, they still haven't fixed that part. What is going on with this computer? Oh. Taking damage from carrying this noxious crust. Because the first cave I went into had exotics. I'm like, ooh, ooh, get out my miasma pickaxe and just pick away at that. But now I'm forgetting that I'm carrying it and it's taking my health down slowly but surely. Well, this this um, update mentioned something about adding 
pyretic crust to stone and salt. Yeah, that, well, yeah, I, I guess it makes sense if they want you to purify your water. Doesn't salt purify it? Well, yeah, but this is like pyrectric, which is like, I, I'm sure pyro is like something to do with fire. But I was like, it, does that is that noxious crust they're talking about, or is that like something completely different? Because I'd never heard of pyrectric crust. No, that's brand new. They brought that in when they brought oh. the salt and the purification system and all that. And you can buy purification oh. tablets now from the workshop, yeah. which I had already, I already, um, um researched it and I already bought 10 but I haven't brought them down yet because I didn't know exactly how that would work either but uh yeah it is I brought the right character frostbite said uh, the European clocks will spring ahead this Sunday yeah so then you yeah. should be back on par with the time <laughs> yeah because it's Easter this weekend so. yeah it didn't it didn't even dawn on me the time difference for the I don't yeah. understand why they don't like the whole world doesn't do it the same time. It just or just leave it the way it is and be done with it. I don't know. Because people like to confuse everybody. Yeah. Keep everybody on their toes. Oh, welcome back, Drunken. I sorely missed you. Oh, that's fine. Not bad. You don't play Icarus at all, Frostbite? That's a sin. Well, it's not much worse than us not playing it for months and months and months, right? At least he has an excuse. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. But then again, like we did play this nonstop for a long time. I know. Uh, kind of got Icarus burnout there for a while. Yeah, and... The updates they were coming out weren't really any big updates until recently they've brought out a lot of new stuff like the batteries and the water purification and things like this. And then this week's where they've done exactly what I wanted them to do. Really? Well, yeah. Like for ages I've been saying that you should be able to craft things in the fabricator that you can craft in the crafting bench. And the machine. Oh, yeah. They made it so that you can craft everything, yeah. you know, the level above. Yeah. And I was like, eventually they've done it. They've listened. So now you don't have to have like all hundred benches in your uh, in your base, which was all. It always confused me because like the textiles benches, they all upgrade and you can still make everything in them, and the furnaces and things. But yeah. They never did it with the main workbenches, but now they have. Uh, I'm happy, but it does mean that I've got a few worlds I've got to go and take benches out of now. How do we split again in this game? Oh, like that. Okay, never mind. Um, if you want to run around with an exotic on you, there's exotics over there in the in the. There's exotics over here. You can pick one and carry it with you. I, I, there's exotics we have to send back up yet. There's like 1,100 sitting over there. I mean, I can stick. And I noticed coming in the door that the other ones down here in the garden are ready to be picked as well. So let me get my my asthma. Um, oh, oh! I was hitting everything with uh, with that. No wonder I'm losing health like the Dickens. <laughs> Apparently, I used my miasma pickaxe when I was mining the the platinum and stuff. I don't think we need any, but. I don't know, but I'm, I know at one point all of these were full. I'm not, because it's been so long since we've been on, I'm not sure if they are full anymore, but I mean, they look pretty damn full to me. <laughs> There's all, I know we did a lot of dockpiling. Yeah. Which is good, because now we've got a load of new things we need, and we've got no idea what we need for them. Which, I need to actually look at the tech tree. Basic water purifier, that's a hot flat. Well, our freezers aren't lacking for meat, I can tell you that. I know, I see. Bees. <laughs> bees can be found in the grasslands, plains, and on occasion you can find cave bees. Oh, they changed it now? Because when the bees first came out, they were in practically every cave I walked into. 
Yeah, I think a lot of people complained about that because they, were, they couldn't get into a cave without dying. Because <laughs> they were just getting stung. Well, I found the... out that one of the antibiotics, I forget which one, it, you could take them and it would take the sting away. Oh. I don't remember which okay. one it was, though, but I did walk around with biotics on me. I think it was the anti-parasitic pill or something like that. And as soon as I would take it, it took the swarm sting away from me, so... I don't know if they changed it. They'll have to test it again. I might. I don't know which one they would choose to do that. To me, it would make more sense if it was the poison one, because it's like a toxin that you're getting injected with. I thought it was the blue pill. I could be wrong, though. Oh, wait a minute. That's going to go no, on the floor. I've got, I've got no idea. Just logically, for me, it would make more sense if it was the poison one. But you know what they're like. <laughs> they like to confuse you. <laughs> make you think all right uh, yeah. let's unlock all i don't know where to put this stuff because everything's full but i guess i'll put them over the the horsey thing soon but we have so much stuff here so much yeah <laughs> so much stuff but um i wouldn't be surprised if they come out with some kind of like insect repellent soon that you can make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, that to me is the sensible next move when it comes to the bee stuff. Oh, okay. You need more Kemp volume to match you. All right. Give me a second and I'll fix that. <laughs> that was <laughs> never the case before. Be Everybody else is complaining I was too soft and now it's you're too soft. Let me. Yeah, well, Discord did a lot of updates recently. So... Oh, did they? Yeah, every so often I've been clicking on it and every t it comes up saying, oh, installing new updates. And I'm like, all right, okay. Well, I'm putting my user volume up for him and it seems like he's still at the same volume. I put him up to 165%. Say something so she can hear you now. Am I loud enough now? I'm not drinking coffee, Deanne. I'm drinking tea. I'm still on the Robinson's kick that Kemp has got me on, and I'm drinking green tea. I have not had coffee in months. But it's still a coffee live stream because other people still drink coffee. Just because I don't yeah. doesn't mean, you, you know. Like, it's a bit late in the day for me to be drinking coffee now. Like, it's middle afternoon. I, <laughs> I only drink it, like, in the morning if I need to. So, but I'm still drinking something. Well, he's probably much quieter than me because he's not, his face isn't up in, the, maybe yeah, the microphone's I, too close to my mouth. How is that better? If I move away from my mic, is that better? I've just changed my settings as well on my end because they've been changed. Well, I mean, I can put you up a little bit higher, but I, I've already have you at 165% and she said you're still softer than me. So, all right, he said 200% now. I mean, as long as they can hear us, it doesn't matter if I'm quieter, just as long as they can hear it. <laughs> uh, never too late to drink coffee. Well, I mean, if it's two o'clock in the morning, you're supposed to be going to bed, that's a bit late to be drinking coffee drunk. <laughs> just a little. All right, I don't think these are going to grow anymore, but I'll put more poop on them. Grab that'll do. Ooh, grab some of those muffins. That's good. I'm sure we've got some. I mean, normally when they go up to 400%, they're usually done, but... Just in case they changed it, I'll change yeah. them. Yeah. You never know with them. You know what? Let's grab some food. Put this stack here. Oh. Ow. I haven't even gone out and looked for new uh, plants. There's probably new plants sprouted up already. That's where all these exotics come from. The frostbite, the purple ones come from the caves. 
and the red ones come from the plants or from mining the trees in the lava zone. They added new a new baddie to the lava zone too. I haven't gone over there to check it out. Oh, the um, the slug thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. the reddish slug thing. Yeah, oh, now they have I them can, over I there. Can, I can never see that name. Uh, where did I put the electricity? All right, so I'm going to go out and call down those uh, purification pills. Although I've been using my canteen that I had originally, you know, the heated one, and it's not, like, making me sick, so... Well, what someone said, yeah, it went, if you actually look at it, um, the, when I think they did a change to it because a lot of people were saying, oh, I had my canteen filled and it takes a while to go through the water and it's given as like illnesses um, and there wasn't an option to empty it, but they've recently they've added an option if you right click to empty your container and obviously now you can purify water after it's in the container now. So you can fix it because a lot of people were saying, oh, we're stuck with this bad water in the canteens and there's nothing we could do about it. So I think as a temporary solution, they took off it out of existing containers. So if you've already got one, it's just normal water. But the second you try and refill it, it'll be contaminated water. Well, between you, me, and the lamppost, I don't understand why all of a sudden they brought water purification when we didn't have yeah. it. Be it doesn't... It's a little late in the game to be bringing it into the game, but okay. I, th I think it's just another bit of the, of the survival aspect. and that I, I think that it was because they were bringing in the, the new electricity battery stuff and things, it was something they could bring in alongside it so that they weren't just focusing on electricity. They were uh, focusing also on the water systems that was kind of balancing it. But who knows? They probably just wanted to make all sweat. <laughs> yeah. No. Let me put these... Um... Where? These uh, Puri tabs in this space stuff box. I don't know if we're going to need them, but just in case we do, we have them. Since I have all that space money with nothing to purchase with it. <laughs> yeah. I've got, a box. got so much stuff and so many exotics and stuff. It's like, I don't know what to do with them anymore now. I cannot, for the life of me, find the electricity or water tools. Did that put them? We usually put them in the fabricator, I thought. Yeah, but they're not there. And I checked with tools and weapons. That are... I'm just going to make some more. Uh, they're not expensive. Because I, I uh, don't have them. Oh, actually. That would be my fault because I was the one that was. Where did I put them? <laughs> Did I, I, I'm going to double check my lock and I'm just in case. Yeah, I haven't put them in there. Um, yeah, they're not in there. Ah, oh, I'll just make some more. They're not that expensive. I have no idea because, like I said, I would have been the one to put them somewhere and not remember where I put them because I was in the base yeah. last. Yeah, I'm the same. I would have put them, like, I, I only got into the habit of putting them in the fabricator because I do great and buy it. I was like, that's where we keep them. And I was like, right, okay. So I started getting into the habit of that. But before that, I could have put them anywhere. Right. Well, that's what I'm, I, I would have thought that I would have stuck them back in the fabricator myself. The fact that I didn't kind of, like, makes me scratch my head. Yeah. I mean, it could be a bug. They could have been lost to a bug, but. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I could have told you a bug took the planter box away. Darn. <laughs> would it be the first thing I thought of? Be, I blame it on a bug. I blame it on a bug. You know what's going to happen? You're going to make a whole new set, and then we're going to find the first set, which is okay because we oh, can. Yeah. We're going to end up taking those sets out to the lava zone when we go for exotics. Anyway, speaking of exotics, I'm going to take these and I'm going to start carrying them out to the. It, the, the thing's getting a little full here. Yeah. Right, give me that. I'm going to need to smelt some more of you. 
I don't know, I need some cup. I think we can only send 600 up at a time. That's the other thing, too. I wish they would expand that. And by the way, Deanna, um, welcome to the stream. I totally forgot. You can come in and chat with us. You have access, you know. Um, let's deactivate. Well, of course I was having a brunette moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have plenty of blonde moments, so... I mean, yeah, they were saying I was having a blonde moment earlier because I forgot to turn on my volume. Drunken <laughs> said my blonde, you know, my blonde was showing, I think is what he said. Oh, yeah. I was like such a jerk. I was so proud of myself. I got here early, got everything set up, remembered how to set the stream up, and then I forget to turn on the mic. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oops. It wouldn't be the first time somebody in this group's forgot to turn on that microphone. All right. Just normally it doesn't get captured on stream. Yeah. Oh well. But you <laughs> need I'm not going to edit it because if I edit it, then all the chat goes away. Did you know that? That's kind of weird. Yes. If you edit yes, your live stream, your chat disappears. It totally removes all of your chat, which I think is so dumb. Oh, it is. It's it's if you edit it after the fact or of you finished your stream. It right. Just, they, they take it away and I, I don't quite understand why but I have heard from quite a few people that it's quite annoying and I never noticed it till it got pointed out to us because I would watch people's because I watch a lot of Americans do their streams and it's a bit late for me to be staying up all that time all like every single go so a lot of them I'll watch back and I was wondering why sometimes I can see the chat that they were having at the time and sometimes I couldn't. And then someone was explaining, it was, it's, yeah, if they edit the video after the live stream ends, it removes the chat. And I was did, like, well, that's a bit stupid. Did you get notification that I just sent exotics up? Because I don't, I didn't see it. I was in a workbench. Did, so did you guys see on this, Deanna, did you see on the screen whether or not our, my exotics went up? Because it should have showed. I might have just missed it. It might be delayed. Yeah, it would be delayed on the stream screen, but it wouldn't be delayed on my screen. I know I've had issues in the past where it's I've sent stuff up and then it's taken it quite a while to come up on the screen. And I think there was one time I sent a load of stuff up and it didn't come up on the screen until I actually got in me drop ship and left the planet. Oh, but was... no, it's not supposed to work that way. It's supposed to show immediately no. when it goes up. Here, let me, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to test with a 20 piece here. Cause I just sent over 500 and I think it was 565 is what it should have showed. It's supposed to be just after it takes off. Right, right. It, it comes up, but. You know, sometimes it just doesn't want to play a ball. But watch, you'll do it now and it'll turn up. <laughs> just to make you look <laughs> like you're telling, the, you're not telling the truth. It does this to me all the time. All right, well, I called another drop shit down and... I'm going to send 20 pieces up, and it should show right away that it's sending it up. But I yeah. didn't notice it on my screen at all. Mm. So here, I'm deliver there, it showed that exotics delivered 20. So I guess yeah. I might have just, I must have just missed it. Well, I sent 500 and I think it was 565 reds up. So. They, you know, I'll know if they show or not because I have 2400 reds on me already on my account, so I'll be able to tell whether or I not could. the 565 went up. I couldn't tell you how many I've got. It doesn't really, I'm not really worried because we know how to get it back, so yeah. I lost track of them ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, we've got, I've got everything I need now, I don't need to keep track of them. And then they just keep piling up and piling up, and I'm like, oh well, 
Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Frostbite. I wasn't sure. Frostbite said the first one notified, too, and we just missed it, you know. Uh, right. You so. go there. So what are, you, what are you doing right now? You fix um, it, fixing, fixing my boo-boo? Oh, fixing the plant. Yeah, pot. see, he's fixing my boo-boo. I like how they've highlighted the cables now as well. Didn't they highlight them before? Like when you when you hold the water tool or the electricity tool. Yeah. Like the electricity highlights yellow. Oh, okay. Mm. So they changed. And, the, and you can see both lines with just holding one tool. So if you're holding the water tool, you can still see the... the so the water tool, yeah. Highlights. So the electricity is blue and, I mean, the water is blue and the... Electric would be yellow, I would think, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the way they've done it. And it, it it doesn't matter which tool you've got in your hand, it highlights both of them. I cannot get it attached to that. But there we go. Yeah. There we go. He, he, he has a spotted bunny on his butt. I think <laughs> I have a white one. I have a white bunny dangling. I like the snow bunnies. They're cute. He's got one of those hybrids. <laughs> there we go. They look that so funny. They, thank you. They flop around when you move. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, that's not the only thing that's wiggling. His butt is. <laughs> and he stands over there and dances for you on the screen. Good God. So, what do you think we should attack first? I mean, you do realize we're going to have to update your base, too. I mean, my base has kind of possibly already been half done, so. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, you know what? I wanted to check, too. I wanted to check whether or not they said these um, um, turbines were going to take damage now. I wonder if they've taken any damage. I they mean, take damage. I think it's when they, it's basically like overclocking. Oh. Like, if there's a windstorm, they will go at, like, 150% and stuff like this. And they take damage when they're, they're doing that. Oh, because this one's this one is 25 or 2,500. We still have fishing nets and everything on here. I bet you they're full of fish or garbage or whatever. The thing is, as well, I don't know about these wind turbines because they're technically underwater. Oh, you don't think they're going to take damage being underwater? They might be kind of, oh, I don't want to be in the fishing net. I don't want, I want to jump over it. Get out of here. I swam under it. I'm just going around. Oh, wow, there's weeds. Is, weeds sticking up. That is advanced. <laughs> I can't get under I'm too, I'm too fat. That's what it is. <laughs> right, it's too fat. I can't get under the fish. Your bunny's in the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like, the... the, the because they're underwater, they might not take damage. Oh, well, don't mention so, that to anybody because if somebody's going to mention that to the devs, yeah. you know they're going to fix that too. Oh, yeah. I never yeah. noticed so many weeds coming out of the water before. Yes. You know, yeah, I, th I think they've done some retexturing um, to this map because there was a lot of things when I was looking around on the Prometheus stuff and I've seen in people's videos and things like this, there's a lot of things that look differently than they used to. So I think they've done a little bit of extra changes. Still got that purple haze everybody is still yelling about, but they, you know, they wanted a way to lighten it up, but it looks like it's still hazy as ever. For me, it's not, it gets bad during the night because it's darker, but when it's during the day, I don't have too much of an issue with it, but I do see where people are coming from because I, it it is quite a big heat. Yeah, I I know frostbite. You know, wind turbines under the water that still work is kind of. He's like, okay, <laughs> it's like well, the water turbines. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, water turbines only work. When there's a force against them to turn, it, it's not like these are on the back of a ferry or anything. That's why the 
the wheels on the back wow. of a ferry work, you know, because the ferry's moving and it's being generated by the wheel. These are just stationary. Well, there is an inflow and an outflow on this leak. So <laughs> technically it could work. I don't think they'd be quite spinning as fast as they are, but you yeah. you are right. There's a little river coming in and there's one flowing out. So yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I mean if you were to put them in the actual river part, yes, the current would be much faster. So I don't think the graphics line up with the actual physics. But they're not even meant to be in there, so. Was there but a reason nobody... why we still kept our um, wheels over there? I mean, they're still running. Is there a reason why we kept them running? I have no idea. I think we just let... Oh, I think it was for spoiled plants. Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. But it, they're not... I don't I don't think they're hooked up to anything. No, they're um, not. We got rid of all the cables, so they were just sat there. Otherwise, they'll just end up in a storage box or being destroyed. So it was like, might as well just live there. I know you love purple, Deanna, but you refuse to even try this game. So you can't even, you can't <laughs> even, you're not even in the argument for this purple. If you were playing the game, maybe, hmm, I might take it into consideration. She's like, I love me some purple. We know. Purple hair, blue hair, purple nails. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised she has a dress the new grandbaby just all in purple. Oh my god, just waiting for that picture, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I just know that it's gonna happen. That's all right. Casper came on thirteen hours ago ready for the stream. <laughs> That's a bit That's a bit <laughs> early. <laughs> well, don't <laughs> He's you. If I stream at five o'clock or later, he's usually in here, and you know he's in he's in the stream and he's handling it for me, the chat. But uh, it's been a long time since I I did a stream at five o'clock in the afternoon. So now whenever I put a stream out in the morning with you, he's always rushing over here. And he's like, ah, oh, darn, eighteen hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning I logged in. There's a message here. Ah, oh, thirteen more hours. I'm like, the guy, you know. Can't blame him for trying, though. Oh, yeah. He's definitely committed. It's like... I know. I know. But he's so sweet. It's just unfortunate that he lives on the other side of the planet. Well, now that we have men here, Deanna, I want to ask a question since Casper thinks it's a natural thing. How many of you guys hang up your own laundry on the, on the clothesline outside? How many of you hang up your shorts and your panties? Uh I mean, I would have to if I used a clothesline, but I mean, I just put everything in the tumble dryer. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I said to Deanna, that'd be the day that my Ricky would stand out there and hang up his shorts on the line. Well, I read something the other day, which I can't remember where it was from, but someone had said something and it made us think and it actually made us realize that they were completely right. And they were talking about putting washing outside and birds pooing on it. And I was like, that's exactly right. I, this is why I use my tumble dryer. Like, this is going to be my new reason for using my tumble dryer so that my clothes don't get pooed on by birds. Well, so it, it's always like, you use your tumble dryer too much. I'm like, well, I don't want bird poo on my clothes. It has been scientifically proven that you get a better night's sleep on a sheet that's been hung outdoors, believe it or not. Um, oh, I believe that. My mom used to hang out, I remember my mom, she used to hang out clothes winter or spring, summer or fall, all year round. And that'd be the day that you're going to catch me going out there in the middle of winter, taking clothes down off the, off the wash line. She used to make us do it anyway, because then, then it, you get that outdoorsy smell, but they were frozen solid. We'd have to come in and put them in the dryer anyway, but she still insisted, you know, that they had that outdoorsy smell to them, but... Um, and I, I asked Ricky to put a clothesline up for me because I was used to having a clothesline up when I was a kid, you know, it's just something that I naturally yeah. did. That was one of my chores. And he did for like two weeks and then he got tired of hanging himself on the line <laughs> when he mowed the grass. So he said, that's it, mama, I'm taking this down. We're not, we're not doing the clothesline thing anymore. So all you have to do is learn how to duck. 
That's real. I'm, well, <laughs> have you? I don't know if you have got them over there. You probably have because they're not complicated. But my mom has one of those rotary washing lines where it's like an upside down umbrella. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. They have those here. Yeah. Yeah. And then you don't hang yourself on them. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I've got a washing line. I've got a retractable one, but I can probably count on half the fingers on one hand how many times I've used it since I've lived here, and I've been here like over ten years. Yeah, so. yeah, that makes sense, Frost. Right? He said he used to hang his laundry during the winter too, but they did it under an awning. So as long as it didn't yeah. rain sideways or, or something like that, his <laughs> clothes would get dry. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah. I have That's a sun the porch. We've got over. Well, that's the problem we've got over here. It rains too much to be hanging out in the winter. Well, I know in places like New York and New Jersey where the houses are like sardine together. And oh. if you live on the second or the third floor, they have those clotheslines that reach one building to the other building. Yeah, I've and seen that. and they hang their clothing out and then, you know, it's on a pulley system and they just, you know, they they pull it. Yeah. You walk down the street and it's like bunting, but it's not bunting, it's just people's pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know some it's people a, that... It's a good it, idea. Yeah. I know some people that hang their laundry in the basement. Now, that I would never do because it all depends if your basement smells musty or not. If it's a finished basement, I could see that, but I still wouldn't want to hang my laundry over a carpet because then the carpet gets wet as it dries, but... I'd be worried about getting damp and stuff like this and the, like the, all the moisture. Yeah. But my sister does. She hangs her stuff still in, in the basement. I said, you're nuts. You know, you're going to hang mean, it up. You've got decent ventilation. Yeah. Yeah. It'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the, in the basements in, I don't know how the basements are here because I didn't, never lived in a place uh, in Michigan that had a basement. But in, in Pennsylvania, their basements had the small windows, you know, that you could crawl in and out yeah. of that are ground level. And they would open yeah. up. They would open up those windows on both sides and have an airflow that went through. So, well, yeah, that that would help get combat like the musty smell and like the damp and stuff like this. Okay, so what do you want well, me to do now? I'm not sure. I'm having a look through the fabricator to find out what we need for any of these new things. Yeah, I but just I'm... I opened up my tech tree this morning for the first time and and clicked on. Like the water borer, like what the heck is that? And an electric water purifier. Um, what were some of the other things I clicked on? Then there was tier three items. It was like the battery pack. There's a water, water barrel. Purifier. Yeah, water yeah. barrel, metal rain reservoir, I and a biofuel water pump. I I don't. Why? Yeah, I a lot of the things that they've released, like there's the water barrel, the the water, the advanced water trough or whatever it's called and things like this, they're like upgraded versions of each other. So we don't need the basic ones because we've got all the stuff here to make the better ones. But there's still a lot of stuff like we don't need the battery pack because we can make the advanced battery pack instead. Right, right. Um, Do you know but, how to hook them up? Oh, I think it's just the same as everything else. You just connect it to the network and then hope for the best. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. I, th I don't think there's like an input and output on them. I think it's just you connect them to the network. And But, but the, the other thing I don't understand is the beehives take electricity. What the hell is with yeah. that? Beehives... Yeah, beehives... <laughs> don't, in there. Beehives don't... <laughs> Beehives in in the natural world do not take electricity to run. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Can't imagine that. Oh, I got a second. I got to plug the tray in. The bees need the <laughs> But from what I understand, from what I read, the post-it notes and stuff, the beehives are advantageous in your garden area. Yes. So yeah, they kind of like pollinate your plants or something, but they give you like a boost. Uh, but that's kind of like what their thinking is, like bees pollinate. And so your garden is more productive. So then it gives you a modifier that gives, I think it's better yield or it's faster growth or something. Yeah, yeah. But, okay. I, don't... I mean, I still don't see why you got to plug it in. Like, I don't know any beekeepers that plug in the hive. So, 
Unless it's a fancy beehive. But right, so there's titanium, electronics, aluminium. Oh, and there's the smoker as well. I've not used that yet. No, I haven't put one of those up either. That was to make new recipes, wasn't it? Yeah, there's new recipes and I think it also I think it takes over from the drying rack as well. Oh, well, I didn't know that so either. I'm, yeah, it's going to in a couple months. Yeah. But the thing is that it's like a whole new love of the game now because they've put out updates that have added a lot of new stuff. Like, if we'd come back every time they'd done an update, it would just be boring. But now there's a bunch of them. Right. The old one. So it's worth the time. I removed those um, last uh, exotic plants because the growth was at 400%, and it only goes to 400%, which you, you can yeah. grow them four times, and then they're no good anymore. So I'm going to go out and see if I can find some more plants. But uh, you let me know what you need me to do because I have no clue. You said you've already done some of this to your base, so I have no clue what to I've do. I've done bits and pieces. Like I think I'm, I think I made a smoker, but I didn't actually use it. For well, just, like put it down. If um, I'm looking for bees outdoors, drunk, and I don't know if you're still here, where do I look for them? Is it like in these old stumps or whatever? I mean, where would they put them? They're like, they look like dead trees. Like, you know when like all the branches fall off and it's just like the main stump? Okay. But it's, like, they taller than you. It's, they just look like that. <gasps> I hear bees buzzing. Yeah, you'll hear them as well. Well, how do you get to them? They're inside the tree. You gotta chop the tree. Oh! And they're... then, then they'll attack you. Yeah. yeah, I'm not even attacking the tree and are already attacking me, the yeah. Buggers. <laughs> they don't like you getting anywhere near them. Um, oh, and the bees and every. Hey, get out of here. Stop. <laughs> Little stars are hitting the heck out of me. Um, we'll get gold at the top. Um, I think I'm going to. They eventually let you go, I hope. Or do I just have to hit them with something to? Um, you can you can attack them. I think eventually they'll disappear if you manage to get a couple of hits in with okay. like a knife or. I did. Uh, yeah, because some people like to try and shoot them with bows, but they're a bit small and hard to see to hit with a bow and arrow. So I just normally. Yeah, it'd just be a knife. waste of arrows. Yeah. Not that we're short on arrows or anything, but it's. It's more the fact that it gets annoying when they're constantly hitting you and you can't hit them back. Uh, it's my understanding that we're going to need the worker bee, but we're going to need a lot of honeycomb to turn into whatever it is you need to make for the beehives. So. Um, beehives are, I'm looking at it now, honeycomb, refined wood, and copper nails. So yeah. yeah, it's like 10 honeycomb for the beehive, and 15 for the small expansion, 20 for the large expansion. They're crazy. I hate these wax for the breeding center. <laughs> beehive extractor. Oh Holy my god. Molly. Yeah, and it takes like 10 or 20 a piece. I mean, I hit two stumps and only got eight honeycomb. Damn. So th this will take a while to get all that we need. Yeah, that's going to take a while. The bees are still following me. Go away. Get. There. Go away. Darn it. Well, this is what happens when you have players that want a, a game that's more towards survivability. Now I have bees. Yeah. These bees won't let me alone. They keep coming back. It's like, go away.
Gosh, they just they just don't leave you alone, do they? They follow me all the way over well, here? Yeah. Good God. They're pretty persistent. It must be African bees. Oh. <laughs> I'd be dead yeah. by now, right? Yeah. Those things are horrible. I don't see many stumps around here. So, do you want me to make the benches or just get the stuff together? No, I would. No, I would just make the benches. Right. I'm out looking right. for stumps, getting a bees. I mean, this could take all day just to get the honeycomb alone. Yeah. This is ridiculous. I'll, I'll make the ones that we can make without the honeycomb. Oh, okay. Yeah, the beehive stuff and then, is good. And then I'll help you look for the beehive stuff. They're still so following me for crying out loud, Kent. This is ridiculous. Give them a good whacking. I did. The first set <laughs> let me alone, but the second set's, you know, they're ambitious. All right, come on. Where's some more? And then, I, and then I'm still looking for more tree stumps. Yeah, like I really want 10 clusters of bees following my ass, but... And they don't put that many tree stumps out here either. Here, killed a bear this morning, though. Oh. Well, at least they haven't gotten rid of the bears. So, I mean, they were. I still remember when the bears were like the biggest challenge out there. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I... But now it's the. Oh, it's a bear. There was a time that I wouldn't kill a bear unless I was near water. <laughs> <laughs> Where could you <laughs> jump in and stab him from below? Yep. And now it's yeah. like, I don't even wait to see their face. I'll hit him in the ass end. I don't care. So as long as I get their attention. I need another sec. There you go. All right, see you later, Frostbite. Thanks for showing to the stream. See you later. Let me take a dehumidifier can help with that. They're cheaper than electric dryers. Oh, yeah, for when you want to hang your clothing in a basement. It's true. Dehumidifier yeah. would take the moisture out. Say for me, it's, it's easier to use a dryer. A tumble dryer <laughs> yeah. Because I've got a washer dryer, so right. it's all in one unit. Oh, yeah, I was so thinking of getting one of those, too. Yeah, and I, I, mine, it's all plumbed in, so I don't have to, like, empty any water reservoirs or, like, yeah. I have to deal with any of the, the, I don't even have to empty the lint trap because there is no lint trap. It all just gets washed away. <laughs> so yeah. It, like, when there was a big case over here uh, a few years ago now with a company called Whirlpool who made washing machines and tumble dryers. Um, they were a part of the hot point group. Yeah. And there was a lot of faulty washing machines that had been um, sold and they were set, catching fire. And they had burnt down a couple of people's houses at this point. Um, so the immediate information was make sure you clean out your lint trap. It later transpired it wasn't due to the lint. Uh, the lint just fueled the fire. Um, but their immediate thing was that, and I turned around, to, I, I can't remember who it was, I think it was my friend or something, I'm like, do you know, I've lived in this house, for, I think at the time I'd lived here for about five, six years, and I was like, I've never once cleaned out my lint trap. And I spent two hours. Looking for it. <laughs> I, <was washing> <laughs> uh, I, pulled, I pulled off all the covers and everything, and I was like, trying to, I was like, why would they put it behind this? Like, what is happening? And then eventually I Googled it, my washing machine doesn't have one. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> so and then I had to put my washing machine back together. But mine washes it all away. And I was like, oh, thank God for that. Because mine is actually a hot point washing machine. Right. A washer dryer. So I was like, well, if it can be happening to Whirlpool, what's to say it's not happening with hot point as well? Because they're basically the same people that make them. So, but yeah, it was it was scary because there was no warning before they would catch fire. Um, but they did get it resolved. But 
like mine is so easy like i just literally set it wash then dry and i don't have to clean it i don't have to drain it i don't have to empty it but my auntie's got a separate washer and a separate dryer and she has like this big like where you put your the drawer you put your detergent in and stuff in your washing machine her tumble dryer has got the same drawer but when you pull it out it's like a big long plastic tank yeah that holds the water afterwards and then it's got a big condenser unit you've got to pull out and defluff, uh, which I love doing because normally there's money in it. So I'm like, yay, I found three pound. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's got a lint trap as well. And she's got to do all that. And I'm like, no, no. One, I've got to give it a whole new space. And two, I have to actually clean it. So I'll just stick with mine. I don't have to do anything because I'm too lazy. But yeah, it, I'm just too lazy to use a washing line. I really am. I've got no excuse for it. I just don't want to. I, I do like the way they smell when they're hanging out on oh, on yeah. the line. I do, but you know, like I said to Deanna the other day, I don't like when birds shite on my clothes. I mean, then it, it's just, oh, it must it must have been you that I <laughs> yeah. It defeats the whole purpose of hanging them out in the line if you got to rewash them, yeah. right? Yeah, I never thought about that until it was mentioned, and then I was like, actually, that's a good point. I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> my mom gives us wrong all the time for being lazy. She's like, why don't you just hang out your clothes? It would save you so much money. I'm like, it wouldn't save us that much money, and. I, I just can't be bothered, but now I'm going to be like, well, I don't want birds pooing on it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's true, and they do it at the most yeah. inopportune times. Like, I was waiting for that son of a gun to dry. I want to wear it. Now I got to rewash it. Yeah. Yeah. I got tired and of that. I was <laughs> like, well, if a bird poos on you, it's lucky. It's like, no. No. A bird's blooming lucky I didn't get my hands on it because I'd have strangled it. Like, <laughs> damn birds. And I grew up in a seaside town that was covered in pigeons and seagulls. And it was not a, a rare occurrence that somebody you would be walking along with would get pooed on by a bird. <laughs> like, it was quite regular that it happened. It was... It, it was a pain in the butt. Hang on a second. The metal re reservoir was 150,000. Right. Where the heck are all the stumps? I mean, if they put them in stumps, you'd think they'd make the stumps plentiful. Yeah, you would think so. But, I mean, we also thought the same thing about many things they've brought into this game. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes you six years to find one. Um, refined wood, that'll be... Oh, yeah. Actually, do we have a... No, we don't. I should be checking. I used to have a climbing spot up here. I guess that got demolished too. All right, well. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Well, I don't so, know how it gets. I mean, it's on a server. The server doesn't run all the time, right? So yeah. I don't understand why stuff gets destroyed. That's what I, I don't think get. It happens, I think it happens just off the edge like, here. Oh, <laughs> don't jump off the edge. Well, yeah, because Enshrouded has gliders, and, and then you also have your umbrella in Nightingale, and you just get used to jumping off these high spots and gliding them wherever you want. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I can make a beehive extractor. I can't make any of the other beehive stuff. Well, we weren't still talking about laundry. We just restarted the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to talk about laundry? I mean, it's about as exciting as my life gets. Isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. Same here. Um, I don't know. We don't have a box for bee stuff. Do you want me to put them in some particular spot until we do have a box for bee stuff? Or? Just stick it in miscellaneous. 
okay. And I don't think there's anything really in there apart from some mission stuff. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, it's just garbage in there. So, yeah, okay, I'll put them in there. Only got one queen bee. Ooh, five worker bees and only eight honeycomb. But I'm having a hard time finding the half stumps to even find those out there in the... I mean, when you're not looking for them, then they're all over the place. But when you need them, yeah. you're not finding a single one. I need five more. Oh, yeah, I got it. Or exotics to go in here. Oxious crust. So after my shower last night, I left my uh, towel lay on the floor, and uh, Ricky goes to take his shower afterwards. He's like, Mama, aren't you going to pick up your towel? I'm like, no. You can step on it when you come out of the tub. He says, well, why are you leaving it there? I said, because I just got done taking a shower, and all that loose skin and everything like that is on that towel. I said, that towel can go in the laundry, but if you want to use it to step out so you don't make the floor wet and fall on your ass, be my guest. Well, the towel yeah. still sits there. <laughs> he never bothered picking he never bothered picking it up after he was done with it either so yeah wonderful yeah. I mean I can't really see much I probably did so <laughs> well I have those bath mats too you know that you can the washable bath mats real thick cloth yeah. things that lay on the ground too but at least after you're done using them, we pick them up and, and, you know, drape them over the tub so they dry like everything else, which is what I kind of thought he'd do with the towel. But no, the towel must be different because it doesn't need to dry over the tub. So he just left it there on the floor. <laughs> I mean, I have been known to leave things lying on the floor for a while. But I live by my, like, I don't have to worry about it. Like, most of the time, I'm by myself. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the woman in me or something. But I got a ritual, you know. If I know that I'm the last one in the thing, I'll pick up the stuff, drape it over the side, rinse the tub out with the sprayer, you know, close the curtain and everything so that the curtain dries out too, not that it gets mold in between the creases and stuff. But not him, you know, just roll that thing back, jump out, and just let everything the way it was. So, uh, like I said, it's just it's the man in him. Mm. He's just used to everybody picking up after him, I guess. Maybe his mom picked up after everything. You know, bowls, cups, shoes, whatever. Wherever it comes off, that's where my, it lays. My mom would have tanned my ass if I <laughs> Well, his mom had eight kids, so I guess maybe that was too many kids to look after. <laughs> like, yeah. So. But. You know, that's when you start learning to pick up after yourself without being told. But, you know, some people don't. All right, where the heck are all these tree stumps? Damn it. Right, so that's everything apart from the honey. 